In this video, starting from this pattern, the phrase one, let's improvise a two-part invention. What is the secret of this improvisation? Before talking about that, let's write the improvisation and check all the steps. First of all, the phrase one. The same of the video I've published recently. You find the link of this video in the description. After that, a modulation to G major helps us to modulate to the fifth degree. Then the phrase one in G major, but inverting the right and the left hand. This part finishes with a cadence to E minor. At this point the phrase one starts in E minor, but the sequence is different, more dilated. The sequence finishes with a strong cadence to E minor. After that, we have a long section based on the main element of the phrase one, set on a sequence. Then another sequence based on the main melody, but with a little ornamentation in the right hand. The sequence is built on a different fundamental bass. Arrived to F major, the fourth degree of C major, we have the sequence of the phrase one, but inverted, with the 16th note in the left hand. The sequence has been prolonged to the cadence on C major. At the end, as the peroratio of rhetoric disposition wants, the phrase one has at the beginning, but with an eluded surprise cadence, thanks to the B flat, that makes the final cadence stronger. So, what's the secret of improvisation? Many keyboardists, and maybe also you, find very difficult to understand, to focus, which is the most important skill of improvisation. This is a real problem, because they don't know how to start learning improvisation at the keyboard. For that, they think that's something really difficult, but it is not true. Anyone, also you, can improvise but starting with the correct, with the right method. Improvisation is like a language. It is in all aspects a language. So like in a speech, in a story, in a tale, the secret is learning patterns we can use depending on the context. We can invert, change, adding new pattern, ending new sequences, but we have to learn this pattern to build our musical speech and narration. So how can you do that? On my series Improvisation Elements, I upload every week new exercises 
for developing improvisation at the keyboard, at the organ and the harpsichord. They are short, simple, clear and practical exercise for learning a language in your fingers. By learning all these patterns, you will be able to use them, to combine them and to build your musical speech and your musical improvisation as I've just done in this two-part invention. So if you want to learn improvisation, I think that this is the best way and the best method. The reason is because you learn a new language playing it at the keyboard and then you will be able to recognize all these passages in a piece of the repertoire like Bach, Handel and other composers. And with only 5 euros per month, you can learn every week new passages, new exercises and become step by step an historical improviser. For joining Improvisation Element, check the link in the description. And if you join it, you also help me in creating this content for you. Remember that anyone can improvise, also you. The most important thing is the correct, is the right method. And you can find it on Improvisation Element. Bye.